Welcome back to a new episode about cookies. You have probably heard of cookies before, and you have probably accepted them before on websites. And the cookie is a small file that the web server stores on the client computer. They are typically used to keep tracking of information such as a username. So let me add it as a comment. Small file that the web server stores on the client computer. A cookie is not used to track sensitive information since it is pretty easy to hack it. A cookie can only be read from the domain that it has been issued from. So let's start off by creating our first cookie. And to set a cookie, PHP created a function called setCookie. Keep in mind that the cookie always needs to be set at the top of your document, otherwise the cookie will not be set. And we will do it whenever we're done. So a cookie can have six arguments. And let me add it as a comment as well. So argument one is the name, where you set the name of the cookie. Argument two is the value, and this is where you set the value of the cookie. Argument three is the expire, and this is used to set the expire timestamp of the cookie after which the cookie can be accessed. So the cookie will be removed whenever the expire date is reached. The fourth one is path, and our path is used to specify the path on the server for which the cookie will be available. The fifth one is the domain, and the domain is used to specify the domain for which the cookie is available. And the last one is security, and this one is used to indicate that the cookies should be sent only on a secure HTTPS connection. The name, value, and expire is a must, but the path, domain, and security is mandatory. So the first three needs to be set inside our parentheses. So let's add three arguments. The first one is the name. And I want to create a cookie with my name, so let's write down name. The second argument is the value of the cookie. And my name is Dari, so the value is Dari. The third argument is the time of the cookie. And this might be a tricky one because the time works in seconds. And in order to set a time, we need to use the time function that gives us the time of, well, this specific moment. So let's remove my double quotes. And let's write down time, followed by parentheses. Usually, you don't want to create a cookie for an hour or a day, or not even a week. Obviously, you can. But you want to set it for a bit longer. So let's say that we want to set it for a month. And the way that works is saying that you want to add, so after our time, we want to add a plus sign because we want to add some time to the time of now. And let's say that we want to create a cookie for a month. Well, first off, we need to calculate the amount of seconds in a day. And I've got it, which is 86,400. And we want to multiply that by 30, so 30 days. So we get a month. And if you want to make it look better, copy your time your, or your expiration date, remove it, create a variable called time, and set it equal to the time. And let's add a variable inside our function. It is also good to remember that if you do not include the expiration date, the cookie will only be stored for the current session. Well, let me add that as a comment as well. If you do not include an expiration date, the cookie, excuse me, the cookie will only be stored for the current session. And if we save it and refresh the browser, you can see that nothing's happening. So let's create a print underscore r, and let's pass in our super global cookie. Let's save it, refresh the browser. And you can see that we created an array, because remember, a super global is equal to an array, with a name, which is equal to a value diary, and the rest is, well, pretty secure, the session ID. There is no special dedicated function provided in PHP to, to delete a cookie. Remember, in sessions, we had something which was called session underscore destroy. And there isn't a function called cookie underscore destroy. And if you can see, the colors doesn't match. 
So let's remove them both. What we need to do is to update the expired time and set it equal to something in the past. So let's replace the plus with a minus and let's create a new echo. Well, let's add a break first. Let's create a new echo and let's echo out super global cookie and we want to echo out the name. Let's save it. Refresh the browser and you can see that my name is printed out. But if I refresh it again, we're getting an undefined index because name doesn't exist anymore since our time is in the past. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.